Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the registration process with authentication. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So we are in this series, we are going to learn about the register, login, forget password, reset password, change password and the verification of the email. We are going to send the OTP in the verification in the email and we are going to verify that one that process we are going to follow logout profile update so all of these things we are going to learn in this video so now we are going to learn about the registration process okay so here you can see that <coughs> this is the registration process let me open my code also and this is the database okay the registration photos if you want to upload the photos here, gallery here, right? So here we have a name, surname, email, everything is there. So we need to add all of these. So here we have the code. So let's go and check the code over level over here. This is auth controller. So we have the email registration, right? Register, DTO, format, that is name, surname, email, phone, and the birth date and the password. You need to add the format is there string 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 date and the string right okay so here we have a new dto service so here we have the user dto you can see that it will take an object this dot name this dot surname this dot email so whatever the object we have we have to create new user here so here you can see that is valid email or not if it is valid that that means user is already registered so it will mention you that the user is already registered so if i go and just hit this one 990 is already registered right if i go i just send it so you can see that generic error and what it says that register user is already registered so there is also a verification part that user is already registered if i go and just add the five because it's not registered and we will check with here back to the inbox 905 okay enter okay so we will going to register this email so send it register successfully and we will receive the otp for the verification you can see that verify email two things whether you want to add the otp over here or whether you want to activate your account with by clicking this account okay and you can see that in my email verifications here you can see that this is pending test 905 is pending if i just hit this one or verify that code with the help of api or click on that it will automatically remove from that one that means it is already verified or you can just make a one field in the users whether it's to emails to be verified true or false accordingly you can update that one okay so let's understand the code so here we have a create new user right so first we are checking whether the user and the passwords already exist or not if it is not registered then we are hash the password and save that in our user model with the role user else we are declaring that the user auth email is valid or invalid and we are accepting that the user is already registered else user missing mandatory parameters so if i just remove the parameters like password i'm not adding so what it says so if i remove the password control x and enter this one what it says registration missing mandatory parameters so parameter is password is mandatory so you need to add it okay so it will go to that block right okay so here you can see that if there is a valid email so here you can say check the valid email also so this is the basic rejects to check whether the email is valid or not right if i add any of the in invalid emails so it will also not work like uh, test at the test this okay and just send it so what it says too many accounts created from this ip please try after half an hour okay so this so this is also a thing that we have added so you can also check it out over here okay so user 905 user is already created over here you can see that here where is mongo users so here you can see that the user is created right and uh, so all of the checks are there okay so here we have this is the email registration create new user create email tokens and verification we are sending the verification email also you can see that send a verification 
so here we are just doing all the things and here you can i have sent the uh, here token also so here you can verify that one also with adding the token part right so this is sending the information okay this is full fledged you can see that the send email verification code so you can also use this one first we will checking whether the email is already exist or not no first we will check we will getting that email okay we are getting that email data and checking okay so here you can see that model so we have just used this model to get the email token right so because we have in the verification we have saved the email token if i go and check the email verifications here you can see that we have a email token right so we have already saved that email token well while the registration process and we will now rectify whether this email token is valid or not on the behalf of it it will prove whether it is to be verified token or not okay so that verification part we are going to learn in the next video uh, this is from that one okay so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day